If you need a catheter ablation for ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation, so-called the VT or VF, uh, the way we perform it is to uh, uh, insert a plastic tube into the groin area and advance it into the chamber. Now those are what we call ablation from the inside of the heart. And uh, we will move the uh, catheter and uh, collect information, particularly on the electrical voltage of the heart, and therefore uh, recreate a uh, scar map so we can figure out where the scars are located. We know that most of these arrhythmias came from areas of scar. And by uh, locating the scar, we can uh, regionalize where the most likely uh, circuit of the arrhythmias. And, th and after that, we can, deliver, we can induce a rhythm. And if a rhythm is uh, stable, we can map the heart during the rhythm. If a rhythm is unstable, which is often the case, and then we can uh, do the ablation based on the information we obtain uh, from the scar. Uh, another type of ablation is to the ablation on the, uh, doing the ablation on the outside of the heart, which requires a special technique of a, uh, advancing the uh, catheter through the chest wall and entering the outside of the heart. And because certain patients, uh, depends on the diagnosis and, uh, and the disease condition, that the scar and the rhythm problems involves on the outside of the heart. And both, of, both technique can be done successfully and uh, safely, but uh, it is uh, not a low-risk procedure, so uh, we are very careful in how we approach the patient.